In this video, we will demonstrate how to plan a navigation pathway to a target lung nodule in preparation for tissue sampling using the ION robot platform. We will be using the ION plan point software version 2.2. Start by selecting the patient and import the chest CT scan data from PAX or alternatively from a CD, ROM, or USB flash drive. Next, select the series of choice and suitability mark will show up with a green, yellow, or red marker. Green marker means all parameters have been met. Yellow marker means that some of them have been met, but the plan can still be created. And red marker means that the plan cannot be created. Select the series, click Create Plan, and the CT scan will be loaded. The software uses the patient's CT scan to create a 3D airway tree of the lungs. Scroll through the slices to identify the target of choice. In this case, the target is a nodule in the left lower lobe. To choose your target, click Add Target in the left upper corner and select Target Nodule on the CT scan. The system will automatically create a segmented nodule. Examine the contours of the nodule in all three views. You can then adjust as needed the contours using the bumper tool. Set the bumper tool to the desired size. To increase the segmented target, click inside the nodule and drag outwards. To decrease the nodule size, click outside the nodule and drag inwards. You can also select the single slice bumper to increase or decrease the nodule size on a single slice only. If the nodular opacity is not well defined and cannot be segmented, you can then create an ellipsoid target that can be modified to fit the desired surface. In our case, we will revert back to the segmented nodule option. Once added, you could delete, rename, or edit the nodule target. The software can identify missing airways highlighted here in yellow. Missing airways are distal airways that were omitted from the 3D airway tree due to an interruption in the more proximal airway branch of the CT scan. You have the option of manually reconnecting them. Next, click Add Path and the software will generate the best perceived path to the target nodule as well as purple anatomy borders based on the nodule's proximity to the pleura or fissure. Review the path and reposition the endpoint and biopsy point as needed. If the endpoint is too far from the nodule, the distance will light up in yellow. Similarly, if the exit angle of the instrument is too steep, it will light up in yellow as a warning. You also have the option of extending the airway. To extend the airway, find the white endpoint, click Extend Airway, click on the endpoint and drag the red line as many times as needed to reach the target nodule. The extended airway will show up in pink and is useful in providing guidance for the operator in case of missing airways. Click Done. Next, review the autoplora borders highlighted in purple color. You can adjust the size and range of the pleura borders by using the corresponding sliders. You also have the option of creating your own anatomy borders. Next, click Review to review your path. Click play to review the virtual path on the 3D airway tree as well as in each of the axial, coronal, and sagittal views. At this point you can create additional path or if satisfied you can click export plan to export the plan to a USB flash drive that can then be inserted into the ION controller to allow the plan pathway to be used during the case.